Hello and welcome to the PC Michiana Tech Help Show. I'm your host, Craig Chamberlain, and we are in the free software series where I show you free software. That's great for all walks of geek life. That's right. As always, the software can all be downloaded in the download section of my website, PCMichiana.com. The link will be in the video description. Just select Downloads, and today we are going to talk about Glary Utilities. Now, there's a lot to this software, so hopefully it won't go a little long. Now, after you've downloaded, just uh, go ahead and run the Setup Installer and select Run. When the language comes up, go ahead and select your language. Click Next. Of course, you need to read the license agreement. Select Next, 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 and Install. And then, of course, launch Glary Utilities. Now, the best thing about Glary Utilities is they have a nice little one-click maintenance suite, which does a whole lot of maintenance applications on your computer at once. So the registry cleaner, shortcuts fixture, startup manager, and temporary files cleaner and spire remover are all ran at one time, and it go ahead goes ahead and lets you just like clean now, and it'll clean everything out. Now the second best thing about Glary Utilities is actually the modules section. You have a clean and repair, which lets you use disk cleaner, registry cleaner, shortcuts fixture all manually. Registry cleaner and disk cleaner are uh, great tools to run on their own, just to clean out some junk. But uh, these are all ran in the one-click maintenance. Optimize and improve is probably the best part of this software, to be honest with you, and they don't even have it under the one-click maintenance. You can select the startup manager. You know how usually in order to change your Windows startup, I have you select on start and type in run and MS config in this section. This one actually will show you all of your programs that are on startup, and it'll give you a rating based upon user feedback as to how healthy or damaging this is for your computer. Now, if it has red, it actually means you should probably disable it, and it's probably malicious. Now, this doesn't work for everything, of course, but as you can see, the ones I have disabled are actually partially red. You can disable more than just those, though, so it's probably good still to Google some of these to see if you actually need them running in the background, but that's a great tool to have in the Glare Utility Suite. So also we have the memory optimizer, which I don't use that often. Memory, memory optimizers, use, optimizers excuse me, usually don't make a big difference. And this is also an awesome tool here, the registry defrag, which will actually defragment your registry, which will cause it to run faster on faster access. So when you get Glare Utilities, you should at least run the one-click maintenance and at least run the registry defrag. If you haven't modified your startup in my faster series yet, make sure you use the startup manager and you've disabled the ones that are relatively unhealthy. And of course you have privacy and security, which is, you know, basic delete and on-delete tools, files and folders for disk analysis to see how healthy your disk is, and uh, system tools for process manager. This is another great tool here, actually, process manager. If you select this, it'll show all of your currently running process and give you processes and give you the rating on health, whether they're risky or whether they're useless. Uh, red doesn't always mean risky. A lot of times it means like it's intrusive and annoying, like the Google installer, which always runs in the background. But that's all there is to this episode. As always, thanks for stopping by. Don't forget to leave comments and ratings, and don't forget to subscribe and check out Glary Utilities. Remember, this is free for personal use, not business use. You're going to have to buy the full version if you want it for company use. But, hey, it's freeware. Give this one a try. You'll really like it, I think. Thanks again.